Let's see. Um, cobblestone? How much does that take? It takes one. Place the wood with this. I don't like the fire. Oh, look, more fire still. Hmm. That's kind of dumb. So, I guess I'm not going out there yet. Oh, shit, that's what I'm Uh. Why is Q throw? Whatever. Um, I feel like I'm gonna fuck that up a lot. What if I go. So I don't like a fire. Hmm. No, actually, opening that door is probably a bad idea. Hmm. What if I... Oh, I know. What if I go like... Not break that? No? Why can't I break this? Okay, that's an invulnerable block, I guess. Oops. Okay, that's not going to work. I fucked up. That's not going to work. Um, I do need this though. Let me grab this real quick. Melt this up, make more iron. Right? No. My furnace went kaput, I guess. I don't. The water was too strong for the furnace. Or something, maybe. Uh, cook that up. Okay, now. Um, now it looks safe to go out there. Can I not break this grass? Why can I not break this grass? Why is this grass impenetrable? What is this? I don't know what that is. Okay. So. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Let's see. How about.
Ah, that's good. No? Okay. Like that, right? And a lot of blocks. Let me go ahead and go. I need a door. I make a door. I make that. Wooden door. Actually, can I make an iron door? I can make an iron door. Yeah, but it takes a little bit of that. Okay, so that's. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and use dirt. I guess. Um, real men use dirt. There we go. Uh, let's see. Now I need just like lots more stone. Okay, I think I need stone, just like tons of stone. Just give me lots of stone. Make sure bad things don't happen. Make light. I well, I hope that means bad things don't happen. I'd like to imagine it means bad things don't happen. I doubt it means that, but here's the hoping, I guess. Give me this. Give me as much as you can get of that. That's a lot more than I thought there was gonna be. There we go. Aha! I made a house. My house is safe. That is good. Now, give me a bed. I want a bed, because I think that means that'll set my spawn. I would love that. Craft. Oh, good, the fire's back. I'm glad I uh, didn't leave my place on the outside, because then there would be more fire. Place that. Go. Okay. Oh, that heals me. Right? I don't know what that means. 
Well, I'm healing, I guess. I guess that's a good thing. And I can't get killed by the fire. I don't know whether it can deal damage to me anyway, but I'd like to not find out, actually. It would be preferable to not find out whether that can kill me. So I'm going to not find out. How do I figure out how much health I have? I don't know. Still says I'm gaining health, though. Um, what is this? Wow. What? That seems like that's going somewhere else. Um, first contact. Right. Don't want to deal with that. What is this? So you want to survive long enough to see your first sunset, right? Good luck. Seriously, there are some handy tips and tricks that you might want to consider before rushing headlong into the wilderness. So many adventurers have set out, filled with bravado, only to be decimated as soon as night falls. So that won't be you, right? Right? Between you and me, that wasn't me. Shh. Right. First up, and this one's important, tools, tools, tools. Your handy beam axe is great if you're in a tight spot, but you really can't beat proper tools, and all you need is stone and wood. Wonderful, right? Before you go charging into alien lands, craft some basic tools on the crafting bench. That'll help. Trust us. What are, but what if those tools wear out, you ask? Well, many ores have allowed you to sharpen said tools, making them good as new. When you find an ore, be sure to check it if it was used up, if it can be, uh, if it can be used in that way. There, it's the difference between crafting a masterpiece and being eaten alive by sentient radishes. Oh. I hope that means the plants can't kill me. Making a shelter is pretty handy, too. The nights are dark and full of terrors. Also, things that don't look terrifying but really are. Be sure to build a base with a campfire, even if it looks like a mud hut. You'll thank us when the monsters are clawing at your door and you're inside, safe, not freezing to death. Don't forget to upgrade. You might think you look bomb swinging and moldy stick and wearing your basic rags, but your foes won't think the same. They'll think you look silly, and then eat you. Craft better weapons, armor, and clothing before taking on dangerous beasts. Stock up on bandages. They're easy to make, and they'll uh, get you out of a tight spot. It's not always possible to sleep and recuperate, so a good supply of bandages can be a lifesaver. Everyone knows bandages can heal every type of injury, so there's no excuse to be unprepared. Finally, birds are not your friends, ever, even if they look cute. They'll kill you as soon as you turn your back. All birds. Not avians, of course. They're lovely. Proper flying, spitting, burning birds. You know the type. Never trust a bird. Okie dokie. I will keep my eye out for the flying, spitting, burning birds that are probably going to absorb my soul. So, anyway, now that I'm thoroughly terrified of ever leaving again, give me that. Get me a anvil I think I can make now. Crap that. What does that take? Okay. I'd like to know how to fill through things also. Oh. That also works as use. That doesn't... I want to do that. Hmm. No idea. Whoopsie. Move that out of the way. There we go. Close. Thank you. Um. Uh, Snarkar? Uh, 7 DPS. What is this thing's DPS? Wow, not good. Damage per swing, 4. I'm just 3. What a regular short sword. Oh, that's what I'll Wow, that one's pretty good. A hunting knife. Ooh, that one's nice. Iron axe. Hmm. There's all kinds of good stuff in here. Ooh, an iron hunting bow. Nice. 